Actress and singer Julie Andrews is staying busy, but largely in her role as author. She and her daughter have a new book out, and it's a collection of poems, songs, and lullabies. We spoke to her about it. Julie Andrews, Emma Walton Hamilton, congratulations on your new book. Thank, Thank you. you. Our, Thank you. I love that you answered in unison, too, and you look so very much alike. Whose baby was this? Whose idea was it to compile this book of children's poetry? It was a joy to do it. Um, we love working together, and this was a quite kind of, um, well, it was a little trip down memory lane in a way, wasn't it? Because it was. we, we, I, I uh, sort of went back to all my childhood memories of poems that I've loved. Emma went back to some ones that she loved. And um, we found some new poems. Uh, we even challenged each other to write one with a great deal of trepidation and, and uh, a little bit of uh, bravado. And it's been so beautifully illustrated by James McMullen. We're thrilled with the product. It's such a wonderful compilation. It has your poems, it has lyrics, it has Emily Dickinson poems, all sorts of um, a variety. My favorite things is in there for so many people. It's, their, their, it's going to be among their favorites. Did you sing that song to your daughter as she was growing up? I'm not sure that we sang favorite things as much as we sang silly, silly um, English campfire songs. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Emma, it, it's, it's striking true. your resemblance to your mom. I, I just got to ask you, what is it like to uh, grow up with, with Julie Andrews as your mom? Uh, well, you know, she was just mum for me, and uh, although I must say I often wondered why I couldn't just snap my fingers and my room wouldn't just clean itself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid that uh, poetry is sort of a forgotten art now with the kids growing up these days? I'm not sure that it is. I don't think it is, actually. I mean, oddly enough, um, rap is, is a form of poetry. That's just what I was going to say also. Good you know, point. It, it's just taking different twists and turns yeah, at the moment. Yeah. yeah, it is. And I think poetry is actually a really wonderful, I happen to also be an educator, and I think poetry is a wonderful way to, uh, to help kids appreciate the beauty and the power of language. If you had to pick a favorite poem in there, or one that you would want parents like me to read to our children, first and foremost, what would it be? Um, there's some poems in there. Uh, my father influenced me so much uh, as a child, and there's one poem in there that he loves very, very much called Loveliest of Trees. And he, he, he gave me my, my fondness and, and love of trees and England and countryside. And uh, uh, Loveliest of Trees is one that he, he would commit poems to memory. And when we would take walks together, uh, he would recite them. And, uh, or if he felt lonely, sometimes on his own, he would remember a poem. And uh, there's a big difference, actually, between reading a poem on the page and then saying it out loud and we've made a wonderful um, audio book for this uh, this particular book as well which was a true joy we made so many discoveries about poems that that stand out when read aloud i'd love it if parents and children and grandparents discovered that the the words were beautiful and then that there just happens to be a beautiful melody that goes along with it really is a beautiful book. Once again, the book is Julie Andrews' collection of poems, uh, songs, and lullabies by Julie Andrews and Emma Walton Hamilton. Now.